cosplay savant for Fangirl Nation magazine. A uh, few people have asked me to make a quick do-it-yourself tutorial in time for Halloween, so today I'm going to show you how to make a pretty inexpensive spear, something you can use with the warrior costume. And since warrior costumes are pretty easy, I mean you just buy a skirt and a shirt and you tear it to shreds and then you've got a spear and you run around, you're set. So let me go ahead and get right to it and tell you what you'll need for this project. In order to complete this fantastic project, you will need a utility blade or an X-Acto knife, a marker or a pencil or a pen, a piece of insulation foam or a piece of craft foam or really thick L200, any kind of foam that's thick that you can cut into and shape with some sandpaper. Yes, I said sandpaper. You will need a very small sheet of sandpaper. Since we're using sandpaper, you will also need a handy dandy respirator. If you don't have a respirator, you can also get a mask-like respirator from Home Depot or Lowe's for pretty inexpensive. You will need acrylic paint. I just use some generic brands, metallic, black, brands that are pretty inexpensive. You'll need some paint brushes and a water container. If you decide to go with spray paint, I suggest Kryolan, Rust-Oleum, or for quick primers, quick color. These are also what I'm going to use um, for the spear. Now if you do use insulation foam and you use spray paint, first coat the insulation foam with some wood glue. And last but not least, you will need a dowel rod. All right, so first and foremost, what you're going to wanna do is take your marker and we're gonna draw out this nice little arrowhead. With the arrowhead drawn out, you'll want to take your utility blade or your X-Acto knife and start cutting. Now that you have your spear cut out, you'll want to take your sandpaper and go ahead and gently sand down the sides. Now that you have your spear head looking nice and clean and solid, but you know, as clean as a spearhead can get, you're going to want to attach it. My choice of attachments or adhesive is hot glue. Um, you have to be really careful with insulation foam and hot glue, but it works pretty well. Uh, so while your hot glue gun is heating up, I advise that you sand down your dowel rods. Sometimes they have little nicks and stuff in them or they have um, sticker prices on them that you want to get rid of. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you can also use liquid nails. You could even use duct tape and paint the duct tape a different color and make it look like it's um, leather wrapping around it. You could even use, uh, drill a hole inside this insulation foam right here and stick the dowel rod up inside of it. My dowel rod is a little too thick for this, but they have thinner ones where you can do that. And then you just do a slight tape under the underside and you don't have as many problems. So while this is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and sand my dowel rod and be right back. Ooh, nice pretty spearhead. Now that we have the spearhead attached, we're going to take that wood glue, or you can use Mod Podge, which is what I happen to have here. And you're going to coat 
your spearhead in that so that you can spray paint everything. Well, while our wood glue is drying, I figured I'd show you what else you can make with fantastic insulation foam. You can do giant swords like this one. These obviously take a little bit more time and a little bit more money. <laughs> but anything's possible when you decide to do it yourself. Now that we have our spear coated in the wood glue, or in my case, in Mod Podge, it's time to take my brown spray paint and paint the shaft of the spear. And my silver spray paint and paint the arrowhead. Um, so I'll be right back. Once again, this is one of those times where you need to be wearing your respirator. So, that didn't work. Safety first. All right, and if you've done your spear just right, you should have this. All the materials for this, except for the spray paint, equal up to about $17. And then you add the spray paint, it's probably closer to 25. But if you just use cheap acrylic paints that you can get in metallic, it's only about $2 a piece, so you can make this entire thing for 20 bucks or less. And it looks really cool when you're like stabbing at people, or it's really lightweight. This problem with some props is they're so heavy you don't want to carry them all day long. This is lightweight. Lightweight enough that you could probably put a magnet on it and stick it to your body somewhere. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching, and uh, this is Sam, your cosplay spot.